Sea Harvest. New look, same great taste. Welcome back to Afternoon Express live on SABC3. Joining us now is Sue Ann Allen. And she's going to be making a king clip kebab with That's us, it. right? Yes. Can't wait because I've actually never been able to make one of those. Okay, so we'll, I'm going to work you through it. And I, the reason I really love this is, firstly, with the Sea Harvest product, it's so super convenient and, and, and packaged that, you know, once you've, you've defrosted right. those, nice and easy. And it's easy to cut. Easy to yeah. cut. And also just something that's all, you know, very important to me as a chef is that uh, they practice sustainable sea methods, which Absolutely. is really, really great. Yeah. And, and we want to use these. We're going to do a king club kebab with a red pepper pesto, a nice firm fish, so it really holds that flavor well, mm. which is great. So as you'll okay. see, it doesn't all fall apart. So nice and simple. So beautiful. I'm just going to cube Looks this. So fresh. And we've done, done one already, and then Ronnie, I'm going to ask you if you'll... If I'll do another if one. If you'll do you. another one for me while I get onto the pesto. <laughs> Thank you. And what we've done is we have grilled our red pepper. You can either actually do this in the oven or you can do it on an open flame if you've got gas with a long set of tongs so you All don't right. burn yourself. And then you'll see we had cling wrap on it and let that steam for 15 minutes to finish the cooking process. And what I love is that then you'll see that the skin peels literally off. Literally just peels away. So One thing I do know about peppers is that when you roast them, um, the, the skin can become a bit bitter, so that's why you peel it off. And you peel it off, exactly. Yeah. So you want that char, because you want that flavor going in, but you don't want that complete yes, bitterness. Yes. So as we peel this off, and then we literally yeah. tear the flesh. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's the only bit, time it's appropriate. It's that's the only, only time it's going to be appropriate. I was going to say it sounds a bit messy, but I do love getting my hands dirty when it comes to food, so that's about done. So I'm going to, to take off the top. Okay. And do we keep the seeds in, or do you try you to get rid of those? You don't keep the That's also got a bit of bite, so you actually want to... They'll come out, I mean, relatively easy. If some of them stick, you would just run your knife along it. So we want to get all of those out. Absolutely. And oh, this is smoking. It's on already. That's almost ready. And this is it's so lovely because it's so quick. So once this is done, I'm going no, to... No, you can actually... Lit, it's so soft, you can literally tear literally it Literally just tear. Okay. So this is going to go into my blender. Okay. With some olive oil walnuts mm -hmm. as the base for the pesto, fresh okay. parsley, mm -hmm. we've got some red wine vinegar, garlic, cumin and paprika, so it really is lovely full yeah. bold flavours. Great flavours, absolutely. And speaking of great flavours, we do have a Sea Harvest competition on our Facebook page where we ask you to actually post a picture of any Sea Harvest dish that you've made and you could win an opportunity to actually come onto the show and make it. So, get cracking. <laughs> okay, cool. So, so the, all of this is blending in. that. And we're going to... Wow. And that is literally it. So you don't want it too fine. You, you just... don't want it too fine. You want your pesto to have some texture. Okay. And then I'm going to season these kebabs. Mm -hmm. And we've got... Just a bit of salt and pepper. Just a bit of okay. salt and pepper. Just do both sides. And then literally going to... I'm just going to swap hands. Take this and, and get that onto... Our fish to coat. Just rub it on, okay. And I mean, if you've done this in advance, it's quite nice. It can pretty much just marinate. So I'm going to get this whole lot in there and then turn them around. So you so can let it pesto. stand for a while you if you want it to take in Absolutely. more flavor. Mm -hmm. So you could cling wrap that. Just make sure you, if you are doing it in advance, that your fish is going back into into the fridge. So we're going to move okay. that around. Okay, so that goes into in, onto the um, griddle for a while, right? And this Absolutely. is what our final dish actually looks like. So that will do. That'll hold its shape. So uh -huh. once you've got perfect char lines yeah. all around, you'll flip it over. But that is what the final one That's looks like. That's basically what it needs so to look like. And you don't keep it on for too long because you don't want it to dry out, no, right? And yeah. the fish cooks really quickly. So literally, yeah. once you see those perfect lines, you know you're done. And I'm going to show you just quickly what we want to do to Pass finish. So we've got some beautiful fresh mm -hmm. leaves. We're going to pop our kebabs on top. Okay. Then we're going to... So these are, can be any leaves? Spinach leaves? It can leaves be any leaves. Or? You want to use baby leaves and uh -huh. micro herbs. So we've got one but that's fallen off, which doesn't matter. And then we are going to do this. Okay. Grab some cheese and then 
some parmesan. Parmesan, always good with leaves. Last but not least, the bit that I think is essential. Essential with fish. Which <laughs> you can also actually pop into your pesto when you're making a pesto. Oh, some lovely, zest. lovely. You want to do that. That looks absolutely delicious. And that literally. That's it. it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> the keyword for this recipe is fish. SMS that keyword to 33650. There you'll get the link to the recipe and the ingredients. Now about that dance battle we spoke about earlier. Let's check it out.